All right, so today we're going to clean a condenser using the Condenser Needle by Speed Clean, sponsor of the podcast. It's really great uh, equipment for cleaning. And uh, I'm gonna show you the process, actually a real world situation here that we ran into where a condenser is very dirty due to a dog that's been laying up against it, even though it was actually maintained not too long ago. All right, so like I said, this condenser is a little unique because it wasn't maintained that terribly long ago. I think it was maybe six months ago or so, but the dog lays right up against it and it is very dirty. Even though I'm a fan of pulling the top most of the time, uh, I know some of you don't pull the tops and I'm not gonna judge. You can actually see the dog hair here. The condenser needle is a really nice option to get the condenser clean without nearly as much work of removing the entire top and reaching your arm down in there. Condenser needle by Speed Clean. So you get the quick disconnect here that attaches from this nice handle and we kind of hold like this as you're using it, both for applying the cleaner, which pulls into this little tube. It almost reminds me of like a, um, like if you're in the hospital and they're feeding IV fluid in, it's sort of like that. That's how this little clamp works. And then that attaches to this quick disconnect here on the condenser needle. Now I'm gonna use my everyday cleaner that we use at Kalos, Viper Heavy Duty, nice foaming cleaner. So my process is gonna be, first I'm gonna shut the unit off safely, then I'm gonna rinse the condenser inside and out, especially on this side that's so filthy. Then I'm gonna foam it, let it sit, and then I'm going to rinse it from the inside out using my needle. The first things first is always just making sure to shut off the disconnect. So it's nice and safe. If I was working inside the unit, I would definitely make sure to check my meter against a known voltage source and then check to make sure that I have no voltage at the condenser, both leg to leg and leg to ground uh, for safety's sake. But in this case, we're not even taking the panels off, so it's nice and easy. Now, while you can use the wand with the coil jet from Speed Clean, if you got hose pressure, Hose pressure also works great, so we're just gonna use a regular old hose. All right, so, like I said, we're gonna use Viper Heavy Duty. All we're gonna do is just open the jug of the cleaner uh, when it's time to foam and just put the feed hose into it. But for now, I'm going to first attach the condenser needle to the quick disconnect here. All right, so that's attached. Now I'm gonna attach that to the hose. So then you can just rotate the wand as you spray the water in. And again, I'm just rinsing it right now. So that way the foaming action can really work on this coil because that foam helps drive that stuff out of the condenser coil. And this one is really packed full of junk. Makes it so much easier. I don't have to bend in and stand on my head, especially on these really tall condensers, which is a nice thing even when you're doing a full maintenance on them even when you're pulling the top off, is you just don't have to strain your back as much and still get nice coverage with the water. Now I live out here in rural central Florida where I don't have the best water pressure. It's not the fault of the wand, it's just my poor water pressure. Stick that in there. And the nice thing is with this clear tube, you can actually see the cleaner work its way up through the tube as you, yep, it's coming right up through. And it's best, John Pastorello talks about this, but it's best to feed, build your foam from the bottom up if you can. I'm gonna adjust the cleaner up a little bit more. I definitely suggest using a cleaner like Speedy Foam or Viper Heavy Duty that is not a caustic cleaner and still wear eye protection because regardless of the fact that it's not a dangerous cleaner, you still don't want to get it in your eyes. Now with this, I'm just foaming it. It's okay to add a little foam from the outside like this. It's definitely not enough pressure to force the contaminants inside the coil, especially with my really crappy water pressure that I have here. Probably be better just to grab the coil jet, frankly.
All right, so now that's well foamed, I'm gonna let it sit for five minutes or so, just let the foaming cleaner dwell, and then we'll come back and rinse it. All right, so now, I'm just gonna rinse it off. I've pulled the hose out of the cleaner. Just nice, because you don't have to worry about mixing cleaners or anything like that either. Now we're gonna rinse it. All right, so it's a lot cleaner than it was, that's for sure. All that dog hair has been cleaned off. There we have it. That is the condenser needle from Speed Clean, and uh, it's available at a supply house near you. Thanks for watching.